Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to connect SQL Server with Power BI. We will show you how you can import the data from the SQL Server and how you can create a direct query. So let's start without delay. We have this Power BI desktop application file and here you can go to the home tab and go to the get data and you can click on SQL Server from here. You can click here also, you can see the SQL Server option or you can click on import data from SQL Server. So we have this option multiple places. So let's click anywhere. This pop-up window will appear for SQL Server database and here we will provide some information. The first we will provide the server address. So I'm putting here this server address and then you can provide the database name but this is optional if you don't want to provide you can just skip that and then we have the connectivity mode do you want to import the data or you want to create a direct query so you can decide that so let's say first i will import the data in the advanced option we have some other options like command timeout in minutes so you can provide here five minute or any other time whatever you want and then you can put your SQL statement also which you want okay so for now I will show you normal option using the import let's click on ok then here we will select the database and we will provide the database username and password so I am putting here username and password and click on connect alright so I have one database which is training underscore DB I can just expand this to see the table or views here I have here three tables so let's say I am checking this TBL auditors and, and TBL employee master and let's click on transform data We can see both of the tables here and if you want to make any changes here you can use the power query. I will create the separate videos on the power query topic but for now we are not doing any changes here we can simply say close and apply. It has imported the data into that power bi desktop application file for both of the table. Now I will quickly show you how you can use a direct query and the SQL statement also rather than selecting the table. So let's go to the SQL server again and put here the server and then this time we will select the direct query. We can click on OK to use the direct query for whole table or view or we can put here the SQL statement also. So I will show you the SQL statement first. So here we have three tables in this database. Okay, so we have connected with the TBL auditors, TBL employee master. Now we will connect with the TBL quality underscore data. So first let me show you the data of this. So I'm putting a query here, select star from TBL underscore quality underscore data and let's execute this. So here we have this data. Now let's say I'm putting here one filter or I want to do any other transformation using the SQL query. So I'm putting here a filter where auditor ID is equal to 2001. Let's run this. So we have the data only for the auditor ID 2001. Now let's select this query copy and go to the power bi and here we will paste that okay command timeout if you want to put you can put it now because we are putting this query so we have to put the database also okay if you click on ok without putting the database then it will show this error okay please enter the value so i'm putting here the name of the database which is you can see training underscore db okay so now let's click on okay now i will load it directly 
okay so this query one is the direct query which is the quality data so we can rename it here also right click rename and put here quality data all right so now if i will go to the table view then i will see the employee master we can see the data because we have import the data and similarly for the auditors we can see the data but because the quality data is a direct query so we can't see the data direct query means when you create the visual it will show the data on the real time and if you use any slicer to filter the data it will query again from the data source and will give you the latest data when it is import so it will import the data into the power bi and then it will show from the power bi all right friends you can see in the model view also so here this icon is for the import and this icon again for the import and if you hover you can see the storage mode is import here and this is the icon for the direct query if i hover then you can see the storage mode is direct query you can see the other information also all right friend and if i go to the report view you can see here at bottom storage mode is mix you can use the modeling without any problem here like the auditor id you can connect with the auditor id and save and similarly here the employee id with the employee id and save okay so we have created a model wherein we have two tables in import mode and one table is in direct query so if your table is huge in the size you can use the direct query so friends that is how we can connect the power bi bid sql server import mode as well as in direct query friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching